Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how I completely transformed our camper's kitchen with the power of paint. You know how much I love to use paint to completely transform a space? And I did that in our DIY Camper 2.0's kitchen and I'm so excited to share this before and after with you today. I've been a huge fan of Bear Paint for a very long time. I've used it in our own home for many years. So I'm thrilled to partner with Bear today who is sponsoring this video. I'm using one of their newest products, Bear Ultra Scuff Defense, interior extra durable flat paint and primer. It's gonna give the walls and the ceiling in our camper a super ultra modern matte finish but it's extra durable and it's going to stand up to all the wear and the tear that our camper is going to face. I'm also using other bare paints to totally transform the cabinetry in here and give it a whole new look. In this video I'm going to share ideas on how to pick your own paint colors, how to prepare surfaces for paint so that they last, and my tricks on applying paint for a beautiful and durable look. All right let's get started. Here's what our camper's kitchen looked like before I got my hands on it. In case you're new here, we purchased a 2007 fifth wheel at Jayco earlier this year in the hopes of renovating it and calling it our own. I've done a previous renovation and loved it and wanted to upgrade for this year. First things first, I went to the Bear website and used their color smart tool to go ahead and find some colors that I thought I would use for the kitchen cabinets. I knew I wanted to incorporate some sort of subtle mint green, so I went through all of the green colors and I chose some of my favorite looking ones and added them to my project. Bear has so many beautiful colors and I love their selection of bluey greens and they have so many options. I knew I wanted to use Whisper White for my project because I love this color. It is my favorite white. I use it in all of the trim in my home. It's a little bit soft but not too yellow looking. So I went and found a kitchen photo that I loved on the Bear website. I added Whisper White to all of the walls and the upper cabinets and trim, just like I wanted to do for our camper, and then went through all of the different green paints that I had found and tried them on the base cabinets. I wanted to do a subtle upper and lower contrast in this kitchen. I landed on my favorite, which was called River Mist because it was nice and subtle, not too bright, and I thought it would look beautiful for our camper's kitchen. I removed all of the drawers off all of the cabinets in our kitchen. This is tedious work, but definitely an important step if you want a nice professional look. Don't forget to take some painter's tape and a Sharpie and mark exactly where all of your doors go back. Believe me, you're not gonna remember after you've painted everything. So here's how the cabinetry looked with all of the doors off. Then I went ahead and used a battery operated sander. You could also sand by hand and sand it down the fridge. You want to remove as much gloss as you can to help the paint stick. Then I used some painter's tape and taped off everything like the fridge trim that I didn't want to paint. I also removed this piece of trim beneath the sink because I wanted to try something a little more modern. I sanded down the walls because it had some holes from the previous curtains and I also wiped all the walls down with a degreasing cleaner. I'm using Bare Ultra Scuff Defense because it has this really beautiful flat finish which I thought would make our camper look nice and modern. I'm actually using Bare Scuff Defense in Whisper White for all of the walls in our camper. I think it's going to give it such a sleek look and I love this color and how it's going to completely open up our camper. I'm also using the same paint for the ceiling in our camper. I thought it would look so nice in the beautiful matte finish. Plus. I think it's going to look so good for the ceiling and the walls to be seamless. This paint is perfect because it has the matte finish that I want, but it has the durability of a gloss. So it's perfect for high traffic rooms and things that could get a little messy, like a camper, like a kid's bedroom, like a hallway, because it's durable and easy to wipe. So I took a paintbrush and I did all of the cutting in and then I took a regular roller and rolled the paint right on the walls and on the ceiling as well. Already I am loving how this looks. Even just painting the walls in the Whisper White is adding so much light and bright to the camper. I did have to do three coats of this white on the wall because the, the brown to the white was such a difference, but it's definitely worth it. So I'm doing all the walls in the kitchen area and the rest of our camper in the bare scuff defense whisper white. Mm -hmm. 
Then I went ahead and used my sander and sanded the door in here. I also sanded by hand the smaller parts and taped off the hinges and the doorknob as well. I'm also sanding all of the cabinetry in here too. This is definitely a great step if you want to make sure that the paint sticks nicely to the cabinets and you don't have any sort of chipping. Then I took a tack cloth, which is essentially a sticky cloth, to wipe away any of the dust. I took all of the kitchen doors to my studio area and I removed all of the hinges and the handles. Then I took my sander again and sanded the backs, the sides, and the fronts of the doors. Again, lots of tedious work. This project, there wasn't too many things that went wrong with it. It just took a very, very long time. Honestly, probably about 10 days from start to finish, working a few hours every day. I'm using Bare Kitchen Bath and Trim Stain Blocking Primer and Sealer because that's going to stick nicely to my glossier surfaces here in the camper. And it also performs really well under the rest of the paint that I'm using. So I'm taking a brush and a foam roller and I'm applying that to the door, to all the trim, to the cabinetry and the cabinet doors here in the camper. I like using a foam brush on interior doors and trim because I feel like it gives a nice smooth finish. This primer is really easy to clean. I know on my previous camper I used an oil-based primer and it was terrible to clean up after and it was very hard to use. This primer went on very well and it was easy to clean which was a huge bonus. So I'm applying it here to the doors of the cabinets as well using a brush and a foam roller. So here's how all the cabinet doors look primed. Again. Tons of work, but not too hard. I made sure to leave all of the painter's tape with the labels of the doors near all the doors on my drop cloth so I wouldn't forget where everything went. After the backs of the doors were dried, I went ahead and primed the sides of all the doors as well as the fronts. And I'm using a brush, this is a two inch angled tapered brush, and brushing the paint into the recessed parts of the doors. And then again, I'm using that foam roller and rolling everything else on for that smooth finish that I want. I'm using the same bare primer to prime the fridge in here. I'm using exactly the same method as I used for the cupboard doors. I know that was a question on my last camper makeover if I did the fridge the same, yes I did. And then I'm actually using the primer again and using it for the trim here on the pullout section. I'm priming all of the cabinet bases in here. I'm using the roller and the brush in combination. And here's how the kitchen looked primed. Already so much difference with the white primer instead of all of that wood. I'm using bare interior semi-gloss cabinet and trim enamel because it levels really nicely on the cabinetry so it's going to give that smooth finish plus it has a semi-gloss finish very easy to wipe down. I'm using the same method so once all of my primer was dry I'm using a brush and a foam roller to paint the backs of all my cabinet doors. Once those are dry I'm painting the sides and the fronts of the cabinet. So using my brush again, painting in all the recessed parts of the cabinet doors and then using the foam roller and painting the rest. The cool thing about this paint is actually you only need to wait two hours before it's all set and it won't stick. I like to wait a little bit longer, plus we aren't using this camper for a little while now. So I did wait about a day in between coats of the primer, in between coats of one and two of the cabinet enamel. I haven't used this type of paint on cabinetry before, so I was very interested to see how it was going to look in the end and how it was gonna feel and perform. I painted all of the upper cabinets and doors in Whisper White, and then I painted all of the lower cabinets as well as the fridge in the Bear River Mist. I was a little concerned when I started rolling on the River Mist. It was slightly more subtle than I thought, but it did dry slightly darker and in the end, I was pretty happy with how it looked. The contrast is pretty subtle, but you let me know down in the comments below what you think of it. 
I didn't want to have any sort of mint green color that was overly neon looking or juvenile, so I think in the end this one was perfect. After all of my cabinet doors were completely dry, the back was dry, the sides and the front, I did two coats of the enamel on these. I put the hardware back on and then I used these little sticky dots to put on the door as well to make sure that all of my paint was protected. I put back on the little stoppers, I installed handles on all the cupboard doors and I also gave the countertop area a DIY makeover. I did a whole other video on this so click on the link in the top right to watch that video. And then I spray painted a dowel and I put it here under the sink where that little spice rack was. I also added some hooks on the wall here and some little market bags and some art on this wall. So here's a reminder of how the kitchen looked before. Lots and lots of wood, I wanted to brighten it up. And now with the power of paint, here is how our DIY camper's kitchen looks now. What a difference, right? Every time, guys, every time, I cannot believe what a coat of paint does to a room. In this case, it completely opens up our camper's kitchen. It went from a very enclosed feeling space to bright and open. Love the finish that I got on this cabinetry with bare paint. Love the finish that I got on the walls with bare scuff defense. The cabinets feel so nice and smooth. They're so bright. I decided not to paint the interior for now, but I might do that later. And I just reused old handles that I had and spray painted those as well. So here's that matte finish. And it's very interesting. I didn't plan this, but I think it is so cool how even though the wall and the trim is the same color because one is matte and one is semi-gloss, there's still a little bit of contrast there, which I think is so cool. It gives it that white tone on tone look. Next, I'm gonna add some flooring in here and some trim to the base of these cabinets and I can't wait to see everything come together. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it inspired you to pick up a paintbrush and get some paint and totally transform your space. Thanks again to Bear for sponsoring this video and don't forget to check out the link down in the description box below for all of the paint color information and to learn more about Bear Ultra Scuff Defense that gave our kitchen a whole new look and it's a durable finish that's gonna last for a very long time. Let me know what you think of this kitchen makeover down in the comments below, I would love to know. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. And I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you guys will love right up here.